Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach, and this is another of our Success Friday videos. And this week we're talking about um, how you make a, a prospect, a prospective candidate for employment and offer. And this is the person that you're expecting to provide a best and final offer to uh, in order to uh, get their employment. And this is the place where the business transaction between the two of you actually begins. Now, the offer is an intersection between your business plan, uh, local conditions, and industry standards. Um, and that is uh, how you're going to figure out what the offer needs to be. Now, let's start with industry. Um, there's a, there are actually services which provide uh, salary guidance. Um, and for C-level positions, this is actually how boards of directors determine how much they're supposed to pay. Uh, your industry, your location, and size of company are all taken into consideration. Um, but you yeah, need to make sure not just salary, but benefits and perks are uh, in line with your industry. Now, locality is also very important. So uh, I looked up uh, the difference in cost of living between, say, Casper, Wyoming, and Silicon Valley, and it's about twice as expensive to live in Silicon Valley. Now, uh, I'm going to use a concept here called the living wage, which is somebody able to rent a uh, one-bedroom apartment for themselves to, to live alone. That's what I call living wage. And if you're going to pay less than that, and there are jobs which you should, um, then expect employee turnover. They can't realistically in the long term expect to live there, uh, live in that area and, and accept that level of pay. And so there'll be a lot of turnover. Um, so either they'll have two or more jobs or be off looking for a better job. Uh, finally, you need to look at your business plan. And this is where you can figure out how much the employee actually makes for you. Now, Ford Motor Company and Henry Ford could pay more money to its workers back at the beginning of the company because they worked on the assembly line. So they produced more cars per person than the other makers so they could afford to pay them more money. And you can see how this would be uh, important in your business. And so uh, if you can figure out how much they make for you, and if you can't, that's a whole problem. Uh, because you should probably seriously uh, decide why you're opening this position. If, they, if you're not sure, they can't. Now, once they've accepted that, we'll talk about onboarding next time, and we'll go from there. So this is Jim Sackman from Focal Point. Change your business, change your life, and have a great day.